All right, let's jump in with a bracket fights, shall we? Let's do the 2010s bracket fights for you guys. And there's quite a few albums here. Quite a goddamn few. And we're going to find out who is the best. Who is the best of the 2010s? Starting with Bell Witch's Mirror Reaper and Paul Bearer Foundations of Burden. When it's starting out with a Doom, a Doom fight off with two of my favorite albums from this year. Kind of cheating, kind of shitty. Um, oh, Bell Witch, Funeral Doom, Paul Bearer, more on the like. I don't know, depressive doom side, kind of like Caponia. Out of the two, I'd probably say Mirror Reaper's better. What do you guys think? I'd probably say Mirror Reaper's better as an overhaul listen. But Paul Bearer, if it was against Sauron Extinction, maybe that would win. But for me, Mirror Reaper just... Oh. One song out. So good. Now, this is a good one. Visigoth. Um, can't remember the name of it. I know it says it right there, but can't remember the name of it. Nice kind of heavy metal in the power metal kind of vein against I Loved You at Your Darkest. For this one, I actually in the minority of liking I Loved You at Your Darkest. A lot of people don't, but I think it's fun. I think it's a fun album. But this Vizagoth album is better. It's just it's just better. Now some of these I won't know. Um now Pig Destroyer versus Black Dahlia Murder. Nightbringers, I loved the album. I'm not big into Pig Destroyer, and that's probably going to be blasphemy, but, you know, I'm not a grindcore kind of guy. So, Nightbringers, for me, easily wins that one. Easily. What was everyone saying? Do I like Muse? Uh, no. Blind Guardian at the Edge of Time versus Vane? Epizone. I've never heard that. What kind of genre are they? Tell me in the comments. Tell me what kind of genre are Vane, because I've never, never heard of them. But I do love Blind Guardian, one of my favorite, one of my favorite power metal bands, and this has Wheel of Time on, which is a masterpiece of a song. So, hell yes. Ooh, what's next? We got Infest the Rat's Nest by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I'm pretty sure, which is the more like metal version of the sound versus Dizma towards the Megalith, which is really cool death metal. So. <clears throat> Ah, some people in the chat saying Blind Guardian gonna win. Yeah, Blind Guardian, Blind Guardian. That that album's so good. For Diz Dizma, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Next up, Dillinger Escape Plan. One of us is the killer versus Infinite Annihilator. The Elysian. I can never pronounce that. Um, whatever it says, whatever it is. Now for me, I've never been a big Dillinger fan. Um, do what you guys think, but I've never been a big Dillinger fan, but I actually... <laughs> Deathcore's not my favourite genre. It's hated a lot, but I... Something about Infinite Annihilator that I really like. Um, fucked in the name of God! Oh. <laughs> Soil the Stillborn. Pfft, masterpiece. In my opinion. But you know, like a hardcore band with new metal. Oh, okay. So, I probably did pick the right one with Blind Guardian, because it's literally my favourite power metal band. Cattle Decapitation, Monolith of Inhumanity versus Yob. Um, I can't remember if that's Atma or something else. Um, maybe that one. That's our, our raw heart up there, isn't it? Is this one Atma then? See, I love this album by Cattle Decapitation. But I love my kind of funeral doomy, sludgy doom stuff more, so I'm actually going to pick Yob for this one because I love Yob. I love Yob. Um, core genres just aren't for you. Yeah, I don't. I don't like most of them, but Infant is a rare exception for me. Rare. Now, Horrendous versus Paul Bearer. Um, that is horrendous, right? I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Um, as I mentioned before with Paul Bearer, Soren Extinction is one of my favourite doom metal albums of all time, so I thought I'd go with Paul Bearer. I just gotta do it. I love that album. It's so sorrowful. I love it. Um, Full of Hell versus Monomarth. Deceiver of the Gods is actually a really fun album. I actually quite like Deceiver of the Gods. I think after Deceiver and Serta Rising, after that, they kind of fell off. But I like Deceiver of the Gods. It's a fun album. Artificial Brain versus Dark Roots of the Earth. This is probably my favourite Artificial Brain release. But this is such an underrated testament album. Dark Roots of the Earth is just so good. I don't know what to pick for this one. This is a hard one. 
Some of the others have been easy. Like, yeah, I'm picking Paul Bearer. Yeah, I'm picking Yob. Easy. This one, not so easy. Someone said Paul Bearer. Mm, I guess... Yeah, well, that was for the previous one. <laughs> Testament versus Artificial Brain. What do you guys think? What, what do you guys think? Chuck says Testament. Um, I kind of am leaning towards Testament. It's just a sound that I like more. Yeah, Dark Roots of the Earth. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Next up is Panopticon, Autumn Eternal. Probably the best Panopticon album. Versus Dying Fetus, Reign Supreme. My favourite Dying Fetus album. Okay. This is a difficult one. My favourite Panopticon versus my favourite Dying Fetus. Um, depends on what I'm going to throw on right this second. Uh, everyone's saying Testament in the chat. That's like from one guy who said... Um, artificial brain for sure. Yeah, this next one. This next one, I don't know. Because they're both my favourites, the bands. If you want the more atmospheric black side of it, it's here. If you want crushing death metal, Dying Feet is actually covered. I probably will go with Panopticon. Piss off all the death metal fans. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I've never heard of this band. Pig? Pig Grab? Is that pig grab? Never heard of it. But I do know what once more round the sun is. I'm not a big fan of it, but I don't know what that is. So by default, it's got to be that. By default. Now we got um, liturgy versus mayhem. <laughs> Left versus right. Who is the winner? Uh, Mayhem's the winner. Esoteric warfare is actually pretty good. I know I had it like last, but I think it's grown on me. I actually quite enjoy it. Ooh, some stonery, sledgy stuff going on. High on Fire, Luminiferous versus Cavellatech. That is Cavellatech, or is that Baroness? Oh, fuck, I get them mixed up. Is it Yellow and Gold, or is it Mia? Ah, oh. wait, someone tell me in the chat. Pissgrave. Oh, never heard of that. Never heard of them. Um, I'm not a death metal connoisseur, though, so... High on Fire, Luminiferous versus... Please tell me what this is. Please... Is it yellow and gold? Am I going crazy? Or is that a different album cover? Because Kvelitek and Baroness have the same fucking album covers. It's Kvelitek Mir. Okay. That kind of sways it. Because I like Kvelitek more than Baroness. Right, Enslaved E versus Code Orange Forever. Code Orange Forever is pretty good, but it's against Enslaved. And yeah, it's not going to win. It's not going to win. Even though Iggy isn't my favourite Enslaved album, it's still one of the best. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Ghost versus Power Trip. This is the... <laughs> Am I going to be a poser? Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> you know what I'm going to pick, just by me laughing. I love Power Trip. Nightmare Logic is fantastic. I saw them live, and Riley Gale was amazing. But Ghost just has this fun atmosphere. Oh, I'm going to get fucking harpooned for this. I'm going to get fucking harpooned. It's Opus Upon. It's my favourite Ghost album. Ghost is one of my favourite bands. Fuck you. Um, just quickly brush past that. I'll tell you what, though. Nightmare Logic, fantastic album. Right. Mirror Reaper versus Visigoth. Different styles of like the doom sound, kind of. Um, well, more heavy metal, how metal doomy side. I think for me, you know, I love my funeral doom. It's gotta be Mirror Reaper. When I first heard that, it blew my fucking mind. Blew my mind. Uh, something in the chat. I hate Ghost. Amazing. Hello, Augustine. Nightbringers versus At the Edge of Time. Now, Black Dahlia is great, but it's against Blind Guardian. It's against Blind Guardian. You know, it's not going to win. It's just not going to win. Power Metal forever. What an interesting pick. Dizma versus Infinite Annihilator. <laughs> what a weird matchup. Um, hmm. This is hard. Probably Dizma. Probably Dizma. This one's harder for me because I like my Doom. And these two are some of my favorite albums. Even though this is more sludgy side, but I always kind of pair it in with the Funeral Doom. 
Ah, uh, fuck. This is a hard one. I think for the amount I listen to, it's probably going to be Sorrow and Extinction. Just the amount I've listened to it more, it's Sorrow and Extinction. Wow, the end's going to be like Doom versus Doom. Okay, I'm on a Mark versus Testament. Deceiver of the Gods. Deceiver of the Gods versus Dark Roots of the Earth. You know what? Nowadays, Testament. Dark Roots of the Earth, for me, is the uh, is the winner for that. I'd rather listen to Testament than a Monomath. Now, Panopticon versus Mastodon. If it was a lot of other Mastodon albums, maybe. But because it's that one, Panopticon is winning. Panopticon is winning that one. Now, Mayhem Esoteric Warfare versus Skvelatex Mir. Interesting. Hmm, or Black and Roll versus the weirdness of Esoteric Warfare. Because I'm not big into Esoteric Warfare, uh, if it was like Daemon or Chimera, it would easily win. But it's not. It's Esoteric Warfare, so... Sorry. And Slave versus Ghost. You know what? It's enslaved for this. Come on, it's it's enslaved for this one. I do like Ghost, but it's against enslaved. It's not gonna fucking win. It's just not gonna fucking win. Right, Mirror Reaper versus Blind Guardian. This is a hard one. But for me, hmm, what am I gonna listen to more? Oh, I love Blind Guardian, but I love this album as well. But it's against one of the best Funeral Doom albums ever made. Sorry. Dismal versus Paul Bearer. What are we going to go with for this? What are we going to go with for this? Mm. What do you guys think? Someone said Blind Guardian, duh. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. Dismal versus Paul Bearer. Probably Paul Bearer. I like the Sorrows full stuff. Probably not going to make me a lot of fans, but fuck it. Doom's great. Now, Panopticon, Autumn Eternal versus Dark Roots of the Earth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Chuck's like, damn it. Oh. Uh, hmm. Probably Autumn Eternal. It's got my kind of atmospheric black sound. Now, Cavillatech, Black and Roll Stuff versus Enslaves E. Enslaved E. Come on. It's got that really long song to start it off. Is it Storm Sun? Something about horse. It's one of those songs. I, I'm terrible with song names. Right, the one to get it into the finals, is it? Mirror Reaper versus Sovereign Extinction. It knows me so well. Hmm. This is a difficult one. Probably because I'm more of a Funeral Doom fan than a Classic Doom fan, Mirror Reaper's making it in to the final. Well, oh, actually, no, there's another one. But Opticon versus Enslaved. Probably Enslaved. Yeah, probably enslaved. So this is the final to get it into the final. Um, otherwise known as the semi-final. Uh, Mirror Reaper versus Enslaved E. Okay, if it was another enslaved album, if it was like Frost, if it was um, Retir, maybe it'd win, but it's not. So Mirror Reaper's in the final. Yep, Mirror Reaper is in the fucking final. Right, Alcest Spiritual Instinct versus Devin Townsend Project's Transcendence, which is a beautiful album. Amazing album. Love Devin. This is a fantastic release. But, I don't know if you can see my Alcest stuff. Probably not. I got a Cali de Lune behind me. I have Spiritual Instinct somewhere. Yeah, it's Spiritual Instinct. I love Alcest, like, too much. Satan, classic stuff, versus Sleep, the Sciences. Uh-oh. We got more Doom, this time Stone of Doom, but I love it. The Science is such a good album. I think it's my favourite Sleep release. This is a difficult one. Well, I'm showing... Oh, fuck. Chemist is like this kind of traditional heavy metal Doom. Kind of like Visigoth, but a bit more Doomier. Um, but Cattle Decapitalation, that is my favourite Cattle Decap album. It's pure insanity. Love it. But Hunted is better. <laughs> it's, it's riffy. It's got those... Oh, it's so good. The vocals and chemists are fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. So this must be Golden Grey or whatever it's called, right? So this must be Baroness. 
That's the album. Look how similar it looks to the other one. Where is it? Can I scroll down? Look at it. It's pretty much fucking identical. It's crazy. Let's go back up. Um. Yeah, science is, is so underrated. You're goddamn right, Brandon. You're goddamn right. Now, th tell, please tell me this is actually Baroness now. Is it? Yellow and green? Not yellow and grey. That... All the fucking colours. I've seen them live twice as well. You think I'd remember? Well, I don't. I like Baroness a lot, but I like Yob more. And I'll roll hard. It's such a good album. I love it. Now, one of the best ghost albums versus Primitive Man. I, I like Primitive Man, but it doesn't do much for me. So you know I'm going to go with my cheesy Scooby Doo ghost. It's just going to happen. Okay. Horrendous. Is that Idol? Or is that something else? Or is that the other one? I can't remember names. What is that? I've never seen that before in my life. That's probably a band I should know. Tell me in the comments. It's the same artist, the leader of Baroness. Oh, shit. Did not know the artist did both. Maybe he could have, like, differentiated it a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, what's this? I don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. It is Idol, yeah. It's probably my favourite horrendous release. But I can't tell you a single fucking thing. I don't know what the other one is. Never heard it. Godflesh, which actually I was kind of putting off listening to. But then I saw them live and actually they fucking... They slapped. They slapped live. I really enjoyed them. Uh, so, new fan right here. Not usually my kind of music, but I enjoyed them. Versus Portal. Bex Avoid, which is just a trippy, fucking dissonant, crazy mess. And I love it. It's Portal. It's Portal. Oof, look at this. My favourite Cavella Tech album. The debut. Versus Paracletus by Death Spell Omega. Now, you know I'm going to pick Paracletus. Come on, it's Paracletus. It's, it's the best. Um, okay. This is interesting. My favourite Gorguts versus my favourite Alcest. Now, I will say... I will say... Gorguts is good. But Alcest is my kind of music. And A Color Day Loon is probably my top five albums of all time. Spoiler alert. Right, next. Oh, this is a good matchup. Bell Witch 4 Phantoms versus Elder with Law. Fantastic releases by both. Elder's such a good prog band. And Bellwitch with another fucking album. I think for Phantoms, I actually prefer to Mirror Reaper. I actually do. I think it's a better album. Okay. Um, High on Fire Electric Messiah, which is the best title in existence, versus Infestisium. I think I've got loads of Ghost already, and this isn't my favourite. I'm going to go with High on Fire. Just give more variety, you know? Just give it more variety. Uh, high and fire again. Versus Sunbather. I actually don't mind Sunbather. You know, some people shit on them, but I think Sunbather's fine. It's Black Gaze, it's fine, whatever. Machine Head. Onto the Locust versus Wind Hand. Grief's Eternal Flower. Um, Don't actually know Wind Hand. I've never actually heard the album. I have heard Onto the Locust, and it's fine. It's nothing special, it's fine. Um, you don't care for that ghost album either. It has some, like, Zombie Queen I enjoy a lot. And Monstrous Clock. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of mid, mid songs on it. The fact I don't know this album, I'm going to have to pick that. I kind of don't want to pick Machine Head, so I'm going to pick the album I don't know. Sorry. Ooh, Angel Witch vs. Tomb Mold. This is a good one. Hmm... I'm going to go classic, I'm going to go new school slash old school death metal. Hmm. I think for the pure fact that I bought the long sleeve shirt and I loved it as soon as it came out, and it's an uh, item in Bloodborne, i got to go with Tomb Mold. Sorry. <gasps> oh, Full of Hell versus Vector. You know what I'm going to pick. You know what I'm going to pick. Spacey. Terminal Redux is a fucking masterpiece. Holy shit. Oh, what is this pick? Behemoth vs. Tribulation, Children of the Night. Love this album. I feel like gothic kind of... Gothic black metal, kind of. Tribulation's got you covered. I, in fact, I saw Tribulation... Um, 
subheadline ghost, which is a pretty interesting gig. Spooky. But The Satanist is like one of the best albums of the 2010s. It just is. Now, Alcest vs. Sleep. I... I love this. I think it's underrated. I love Spiritual Instinct. I think that's underrated because some people just say, like, only the first couple of Alcest are good, but nah, Spiritual is good. Everyone's saying Behemoth. Well, second Jars. I do like Tribulation a lot, though. Live, especially the Fantastic. Now, Hunted by Chemist versus as our roll heart, isn't it? By Yob. Mm. Proggy Sludge versus Dude. I can't not pick Chemist. Like, the, if you haven't heard Chemist, their albums are just magical. And Hunted might be the best. I can't pick Hunted. Now, Horrendous versus Ghost. I'm gonna get shit thrown at me for this, but I'm picking Ghost because this album is the it's one of the best. Like, from the pinnacle to the pit. Mummy Dust. Cirrusy, oh, that that album's fucking amazing. Portal versus Death Spell, Battle of the Dissonance. As good as Portal is, it's not Death Spell's Paracletus. It's just not. So everyone say it. People saying yob. People <laughs> enjoying the ghost pick. A Cali de Lune versus Full Phantoms. Ooh. As much as I like All Phantoms, Akali de Lune, again, one of my favourite albums of all time. From start to finish, it's perfect. It's probably a 10 out of 10. Electric Messiah vs. Sunbather. Ah, I'll go with Electric Messiah. Just because it's fun to say. High on Fire, Electric Messiah. Now, the album I don't know for <laughs> versus Planetary Killer Points. I only picked Wind Hand as a joke. Tell me if they're actually good, because I will check them out. Terminal Redux versus the Satanist. I'll let everyone set settle on this. Uh, I want to hear people's opinions. What do you think? Terminal Redux or the Satanist? Hmm. What do you guys think? I know what I'm picking. And it's easy. Well, well it's not that easy because I love them both. But, yeah. Terminal Redux, 100%. Anyone else? Who would pick the Satanist? Who would pick Terminal Redux? I got one for Terminal Redux. So everyone else saying Behemoth can't stand Vector's vocals. Chuck says Terminal. Witch says Behemoth. Oh, it's a fucking toss up. I'm going with Vector. Terminal Redux is literally the greatest thrash album of all time. It smokes Megadeth. Sorry, it's literally it's the best thrash album of all time. It's just just fucking fat. And it's spacey, so it's even better. Right, Alcest versus Chemist. The fact I've already got Alcest in here, and it's my favourite album, I'll give Chemist this one. Because I can't just fucking suck the dick of Alcest the entire time. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. Um, Satan is your favourite. You could pick Vector. Wow, you read the future. Ghost versus Paracletus. You know, as much as I like Ghost... This is literally like one of the best black metal albums of all time. Now, Ikali de Loon versus High on Fire. You know I'm going to pick Ikali de If you know me, you know. Next up, oh, we got some spacey shit going on. Spacey death metal versus some spacey thrash metal. Um, as much as I like Planetary Clavoyance for its kind of old school death metal in the new age, just something about Terminal Redux, which just makes me hard. Now, Hunted versus Paracletus. Such a weird contrast with this this one. Like, Hunted is fun. And I love it to pieces. But again, Paracletus is just so monumental. It's got to be Paracletus. Oh, this one pains me. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck. Okay. I want Terminal Redux to be in the final. But it's against literally one of my favourite albums of all fucking time. Even though that's one of my favourite albums. But. The Color de Lune. I, I don't know. It's. It's my album. I have it right there. I can't not pick it. Again. Again. You know what's going to win now. <laughs> 
It's fucking... It's ruined it. You fucking ruined it. But yeah, I love Paracletus, but... Akali de Lune. Now is the final. Funeral Doom Masters Bell Witch with uh, Mirror Reaper versus Akali de Lune. Two of my favourite albums of all time. But only one of them is in, like, my top five. And that is, of course, Niche himself, Alcest, Akali de fucking Lune. That is the winner of the 2010s album. Now... Is there some albums on this list from 2010s which may be a lot higher? Probably. Pretty sure there's an Ahab album that might <laughs> might make the fucking top. Um, and some other albums I won't mention. But yeah, no, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this list. This is amazing, one of my favourite albums. This is one of my favourite albums. Paracletus is one of my favourite albums. I like this list. This is a good list. Um, probably not to everyone's taste. Some people will probably like Testament more. You know, the more death metal stuff, but do me and atmospheric y blag. That's my kind of style, so there we have it with this tier list.